University of Mumbai most important question for the subject e-commerce and digital marketing TYPMS SEM 5. University of Mumbai most important question subject e-commerce and digital marketing. So these are the uh, some important questions which I have picked up mostly they are 20 in numbers. So unit wise I'll give you uh, some important questions. So first question are what is the what are the factors responsible for the growth of e-commerce? Second question, what is e-commerce? How is e-commerce superior to traditional commerce in today's business scenario? Distinguish between traditional commerce and e-commerce. Explain its features. So if you study this one uh, question, uh, you will get the answer for all these three. Means either they will ask you how uh, e-commerce is superior to traditional commerce or they are going to ask you distinguish between traditional commerce and e-commerce and uh, they will ask you what is e-commerce and explain its future. So once you study this one question, you will get the answer for all the three questions here and one concept will definitely come for your exam now question number three is discuss the uh, recent trend in e-commerce in education banking sector tourism and government okay so you have to study all this they will ask you one or two of this or they can they can give you the such question which you can relate it to the education banking tourism and government so you have to study what are the recent trend of e-commerce in the education industry banking industry tourism uh, and government okay next is what is m-commerce explain its benefits okay even they can ask you what is e-commerce and its advantage so when you are studying the features you also study the advantages of e-commerce okay and uh, e-commerce uh, m-commerce benefits and disadvantages also you can study then question number five explain the following categories of e-commerce with relevant to example business to commerce sorry business to consumer and consumer to consumer okay so uh, there are so many concepts like business to government okay uh, then government to consumer so you uh, you study all this uh, concept very uh, means they can ask you about this uh, concept that is business to consumer consumer to consumer business to government government to consumer so study this then from unit number two, explain the advantages and limitation of pure online model. Okay, this is a, one of the important question. Okay, you have to study the advantages and disadvantages of pure online model. Then uh, second question, describe the life cycle approach of building a website. Then third, explain the steps in launching e-business. This is also one of the important questions, steps in launching e-business. Question number four, explain the application advantages and limitations of ERP, that is enterprise resource planning. Explain the significance of a business in today's competitive world. Question number six, justify the superiority of brick and click model over the pure online model. So this uh, brick and click model, pure online model or traditional business, all three concepts you have to study thoroughly. Out of this three concepts, two questions will be asked in your exam based on the traditional model, uh, brick and click model, only click model and uh, that is pure online model okay so this is a important and the most important is a pure online model then let's see then uh, so unit uh, number three some of the important questions are here from unit three first explain the raw law related to e-commerce in india second explain the advantages and disadvantages of payment gateway very very important question what is payment gateway and what are these advantages and disadvantages they will ask you then explain privacy and security issues and discuss the issue related to them in e-commerce so you this is also one of the important you have to study privacy and security issues then you have to study this concepts of uh, smart card credit card and e-check and in this concept you will study what are their advantages and disadvantages next is what is digital marketing on various social media uh, platforms so you have to explain the digital marketing on various social media platform then sixth one write a detailed note on it act 2000 so these are the important questions from your unit three From unit 4, what is digital marketing? Explain its advantages and limitations. Then, question number 2, 
what is search engine optimization explain its advantages this is also sure short question in your exam they will ask you either in the short note or in brief so what is search engine optimization explain its advantages third write a note on web analytics fourth what do you mean by digital marketing discuss is evaluation so how it has been uh, means you have to in short write the history of a digital marketing then question number 5 explain the concept of online advertising along with, with its benefit okay so you have to uh, explain the concept of online advertising on along with its benefit so these are the best uh, 20 to 22 questions i have picked up from the e-commerce subject uh, you can study this this will help you in your university exams so uh, all the best thank you